hello everyone and welcome to part 6 of laravel interview questions and in this video we are going to learn about csrf tokens that we often use in laravel okay so uh, i want to assure you that uh, after completing this uh, uh, web series this laravel interview series uh, you can crack any interview so uh, so don't uh, uh, leave any video uh, watch all the videos so that you can cover all the questions that are expected in the interview okay so let's start uh, first question let's see the first question so what is csrf okay so before learning about csrf tokens we must know what is csrf exactly and what is its full form okay interviewer can ask you tell me the full form of csrf okay and if you don't know what is csrf then how you can answer what are csrf token okay sometimes uh, uh, many of the students many of the developers know what is csrf token but they don't know what is csrf exactly okay so we must know csrf let's see its definition CSRF stands for cross side request forgery is a web security threat that allows an attacker to induce users to perform actions that they do not attempt to perform. Okay, so uh, like uh, its definition, uh, it, it's kind of attack. Okay, so uh, it's a kind of attack that can happen anytime. Uh, when the user is browsing, uh, user is uh, like filling the form and submitting the form. Okay, and that kind of action user don't want to exactly want to perform like uh, uh, some virus, some uh, some virus kind of thing force the user to perform some kind of certain action that the user actually don't want. Okay, like uh, if the user fills the form and click on submit button, then uh instead of go, uh, going uh, in, instead of submitting that form user is redirecting to some other website okay so this is a kind of attack okay and in laravel uh to prevent such attacks laravel automatically generates a csrf token for active uh, users okay so in laravel we can prevent uh, csrf uh, attacks with the help of csrf token okay i hope now it's clear uh, that what is CSRF and how we can prevent uh, in Laravel. Okay, uh, so let's see the next question. What is CSRF token in Laravel? Okay, now you learn about, now you know about CSRF. Now it will be easier for you to know that what is CSRF token. Okay, like I have told you in last question that CSRF token helps laravel to prevent such attacks so one kind of definition already reached to you let's see it in detail let's see csrf token is used to verify that only the authenticator user is making the request to the application preventing unauthorized access by any other user laravel secures crud operation uh, with csrf token this involves STL ML forms and submitting data from the front end to the database. If the CSRF token is missing during form submission, Laravel application will show the error. Okay, like I have told you that CSRF token helps to prevent CSRF attacks in Laravel. So it, uh, uh, it helps to verify the authenticator user only and it prevents uh, the unauthorized access by any other user okay so no other user can able to assess the application because csrf uh, 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 prevents that attack okay uh, and CRF, uh, csrf token we often used uh, for the crud operation like create read update delete uh, like we are using in forms like in uh, laravel e-commerce series uh, you have seen that we are you often using a csrf token in our forms uh, while submitting data from the uh, website to the database like uh, for the contactors uh, uh, all the inquiries come in the database 
and for register form as well okay and for updating the form as well like uh, user updates its form at that time also we use csrf token so uh, not only in forms we also use it for the ajax calls okay so uh, see uh, so if in case uh, we are not applying the csrf token in the forms then laravel application always shows the error you know that it shows 419 error okay so we need to apply csrf token whenever we are using some kind of form or or in our ajax calls anywhere in laravel website to make it secure okay so now you know about csrf token let's see the another question how to add csrf token in laravel forms okay so we need to apply this in laravel forms and let's see how we can add in laravel forms we need so this is a kind of syntax that we need to apply to every form at the rate of csrf simple okay so this syntax we need to add in form uh, let's see how we can add the syntax see this is the form sample form see after opening the form form method post action uh, after uh, the first syntax of form after opening the form just after that we need to apply at the rate of csrf like we have shown in example okay and in old website in old versions uh, there is the different way like in laravel 5 and earlier version we used to apply csrf underscore field syntax is different for the old laravel versions okay like this and same thing we need to apply in form in the same way but the syntax will be different so i am going to show you uh, in the uh, live example i'm going to show you in our e-commerce website uh, if you will follow that e-commerce series you are going to learn that how to apply the uh, the csrf token okay so i'm going to show you right now uh, how we are using in laravel e-commerce series so this is our laravel e-commerce series uh, i hope every one of you is following this series to the practical knowledge of laravel okay so uh, this is our uh, sorry not this one uh, i'm going to ha uh, this is our uh, laravel uh, folder laravel e-commerce folder okay so here i'm going to show you csrf how we are using it in register form and other forms okay so let's open uh, like contact form i'm going to open uh, this is the contact form and see how we are applying this at the rate of csrf after the opening the form action after closing this we are directly applying at the rate of csrf okay uh, and if you will open any other form like if we will open uh, register form as well we can open login register form and here you can see uh, with the register form at the rate of csrf okay after uh, form okay after uh, this uh, we have added the syntax and uh, also for the login form this one c at the rate of csrf okay we need to apply like this to prevent any unauthenticated attack from the unauthorized users okay so we need to do like this to apply the csrf protocols okay so i hope that you can also do this at your end let's see the next question what is x csrf token and how to add in laravel website okay so now another form of csrf token is there most of the users most of the students and developers don't know about this token but they already using it okay so let's see xcsrf token is used to secure ajax requests okay so uh, we need to use ajax all the time in our laravel e-commerce series or any other series any other website uh, we often require to use ajax and for securing the ajax request we need to use x csrf token okay so there is the meta tag that we need to apply to prevent the ajax errors and this is now we can add it as meta tag into the head section in the header of the website we can add this one add this tag meta name csrf hyphen token and content we are going to add it like this okay so this is the tag we need to apply at the header part that is common for all the pages in most of the website okay uh, so uh, uh, so that uh, to make the ajax request secure okay uh, so i'm going to show you this one as well in our laravel e-commerce website 
I am going to open front header front layout in fact okay so here you can see uh, we have added this one C meta name CSRF token content this one so this one we have added in our Laravel e-commerce series okay to prevent the Ajax uh, request to make it secure and uh, prevent any kind of CSRF errors okay and prevent the unauthenticated uh, okay so uh, this one we need to add it like this okay let's see the next question what is difference between csrf and xcsrf token so uh, there are chances that the interviewer may ask you about it okay so what is difference between these two so difference are uh, not that much tough it is easier to explain and let's see it so this is the difference csrf tokens on the one end and xcsrf token on the other end so that you can uh, compare it easily see crf token is used to secure html form it is not meant for ajax okay and xcrf token is meant for the ajax request it is used to secure the ajax request like i have told you earlier okay and uh, next one is csrf token produced in backend while rendering html form so we often uh, used to apply this one for the HTML form whether to uh, add uh, something to the database or edit or uh, okay uh, or uh, update okay for uh, the HTML form we are going to use it and XCRF token we are going to use for the Ajax request okay in as a uh, we are going to add this one in HTTP header and uh, for the Ajax request like uh, if we are adding something like we are adding something to the shopping cart with the help of Ajax or or we are placing the order with the help of ajax or we are applying the coupon with the help of ajax okay in all such requests we are going to apply in the xcsrf token okay and how we can do crs token we need to this is the syntax at the top csrf is the syntax that we need to apply with every form in the beginning of the form okay and xcrf token we need to apply as a meta tag in all the pages uh, in the header so, so that it will be applied to all the pages and this is the syntax meta name crf token and content is cr underscore token okay so so these are the uh, difference between the csrf and the xcrf token so let's see in the next question how we can turn off csrf protection for a specific route okay so we often uh, don't want its protection and we want uh, don't want to add it for uh, certain kind of uh, routes like uh, uh, we have not added for the admin routes because admin is already secure uh, so we don't want to apply it for the admin routes and for that uh, we need to specify in uh, somewhere so to prevent it let's see to turn off csrf protection for a specific route we can add that specific url or route in accept variable which is present in the uh, very five csrf token.php file an example is this one so uh, this is the file verify csrf token.php uh, that is located in the middleware folder you just require to open this uh, file and you need to add your route there uh, where you want to uh, apply uh, where, where you don't want to apply csrf protection like if you don't want it for the contact us page then you are simply required to uh, give your contact uh, route here in this page you need to add in this accept variable uh, just to so that it, it will ignore this uh, page okay from the crf protection uh, okay we are going to check it uh, in our Laravel e-commerce uh, sites uh, that how we are uh, turning it off uh, for uh, the admin panel routes I'm going to show you right now so I'm going to open its file verify CR token see all these are admin routes you can check it admin 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 all are the admin routes and we are preventing it from the admin but not for the front for front we have already using we are already using csrf token to prevent uh, all the routes of the front but uh, uh, like admin is already secure so we don't want it in admin so i have added all the routes in this uh, verify csrf token.php file 
in the accept variable in the accept array variable that we have added all the routes here one by one uh, so that we can skip uh, this check otherwise it will show the error we need to add CRF token for all these routes okay so we can do it like this okay this is all over uh, I hope that you like this video and uh, do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet and do follow this laravel question series from the beginning to up till at the end so that uh, you will have the chance to crack the interview to clear the interview okay so we will come up with more interview questions very soon uh, more advanced question will also come very soon so stay tuned for it okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye